What's going on guys, Brandon here coming to another video today. What I have for you is finally the MP40 from Advanced Warfare versus the HG40 from Black Ops 3. I ended up getting the weapon. Pretty sure I mentioned it in a video. Matter of fact, I'm sure I did. I ended up getting the MP40 in Advanced Warfare for free on one of the weekends where they're giving away weapons. And actually this weekend right now, I'm gonna show a quick gameplay in a video tomorrow just showing that you can get the Sten Legendary Resistance for free right now and yeah it's pretty awesome that they're still giving away weapons in the game yeah it's been out for a couple years now but just the simple fact that they're even doing anything with the game is pretty legit in my book and I think Sledgehammer is an awesome studio definitely can't wait to see what they're cooking up for next year but this gameplay is the HD40, obviously, and it was a solid one that I got. I hope that you guys enjoy the way that I cut this together. I kind of wanted to go back and forth between the HD40 gameplay and the MP40 gameplay. You'll notice that there's definitely more MP40 gameplay because it was the dominant gun. It was the one that won between the two. It's without a doubt the better weapon as far as bringing it back and having it be a throwback weapon in the game it definitely was way more dominant in advanced warfare the HG40 although it's an alright weapon it's not top tier as far as SMGs go like it was back in the day and definitely doesn't even compete to be perfectly honest with the one in advanced warfare let's say you had two players that were of equal abilities in Call of Duty one had the MP40 from Advanced Warfare, the other had the HG40 from Black Ops 3. Put them together if that was possible and they fought it out, I guarantee you that the person with the Advanced Warfare MP40 would come out on top with flying colors. It wouldn't even be an issue. It's that much more dominant. This one, it's really good at close range, but once you start getting to those mid to long range gunfights, the damage drops off so far that it's really hard to do well with it. I had a problem doing well with it just to get a really good gameplay that I wanted to make the video out of. I have like one of the lowest KDs out of SMGs with the HP40 and honestly the only reason I continue to use it is that nostalgic feeling. It's a fun weapon to use because it reminds you of the good times from you know World at War and that's really the only reason I do use it because if you want to go try hard and do really good you're gonna to have to use like the VMP or the CUDA the HG40 would most definitely not be the gun you'd want to go to now the MP40 on the other hand in advanced warfare I love using this weapon every time that I would pick it up before I got it I would just melt people with it and I was like man I really want this fucking weapon why can't I just get it in the supply drop because there's variants you would have thought that I would eventually have gotten at least the common I can't even think of what they went off on in this one because I'm so used to looking at rare legendary and epic but you get what I'm saying there was like four different tiers of weapons and each tier had like three of them in it it's just crazy that I never got one and I had to wait till they gave it away for free. Which, it is what it is. I really wish I would have got it a lot sooner because it's such a good weapon. If you guys are still playing Advanced Warfare and you unlocked it and really didn't give it that much of a chance, I highly recommend it because you'll do really, really well with it. The only complaint that I have about the weapon, and this is literally just nitpicking, it's not that big of a deal but I really wish that they would have used its own audio file you can tell that it literally is the audio file from the KF5 100% there's no if ands or a question about it it is the audio file from the KF5 I wish it would have had that MP40 sound from World of War but like I said that's totally nitpicking it's not a big deal it has nothing to do with how the gun acts and feels as far as that goes, it feels great. There's like next to no recoil. You really wouldn't even have to use a grip. I threw it on there anyways just because why not have it be a laser at long range. But other than that, this was the legendary version. 
I honestly, I messed around with it a little bit, but the only ups to it are handling, and I think that's really it. It has an attached laser sight, and that is the downfall for me because I don't want to run a laser sight, so I've actually just been using the base variant of the weapon, that way I can throw grip, extended mags, and advanced rifling on it and I find that using it that way I rarely ever do bad with it honestly if I end up doing bad with it it's just because I'm having a bad night like if I'm having my normal games on advanced warfare then I obviously do really well with it really don't have all that much to say about the HG40 from Black Ops 3 it was honestly a huge disappointment in my eyes I wanted the gun so badly, and then when I finally got it, I was like, fuck yeah, I finally got the HD40. I wanted it more than any weapon in the game at that time, even over the FFAR. And honestly, if I had to choose now, I would easily take the FFAR over it if I was ch like given the choice, either you can have the HD40 or you can have the FFAR. Ten times over, I'd take the FFAR. Like I said, it's cool to have. Gives you that nostalgic feel. And it's something different to use in the game. That's a big thing for me with weapons and supply drops. The reason why it irritates me so much is that I don't care if the weapon's not that good. It's something new to use and mess around with. Because I'm not always trying to get awesome gameplays. Like, there's a lot of times that I just like to sit back play the game and have fun and use different things and when you don't have that ability because you can't spend thousands of dollars on supply drops that really sucks like I don't even want to get into that rant about supply drops because we all know it we all hate it it is what it is I just hope that I get my damn peacekeeper man I told you guys I'm gonna mention it probably every other video when it comes to talking about supply drop weapons I really hope that Black Ops 3, Treyarch, they do the same thing that Sledgehammer did, and they'll eventually just start giving out the weapons, or at least giving weapon bribes, just some way aside from luck of the draw, because at least with those weapon bribes, you're guaranteed a weapon that you didn't have. I'm honestly surprised they haven't done one since, but that's a whole nother story, like I said. This is coming up to the end of the gameplay. MP40 from Advanced Warfare, 110%, without a doubt, is the better one, and takes the crown in this versus match. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and as always guys, I will see you in the next one.